Hey cutie, missed ya. Ooh, I'm passing the nursery right now. Well, it's called Schaefer's and it's a, a bunch of greenhouses. And I assume it's in frame. Obviously I'm not gonna look because I'm driving right now. But I gotta go there and get some plants, girl, because I have been watching gardening videos non-stop and your girl's really got some things going on so i'll show you when i get home but uh right now we are gonna go i'm like congested but like i'm not sick but all of a sudden i'm heavily congested and i'm hoping it's just allergies and it's not like you know something looming in the distance here but we're gonna go and get our hair done so i'm doing hand tied hair extensions with the invisible bead extensions i think it's called is that what it's called because honestly there's no bead like not that i know of. i don't know i don't know a whole lot about it but i was at the salon two weeks ago and i saw someone's hair and i was like that's cute you know and um i was there with ashley and her cousin who works there and her aunt who owns it and i was like oh i want some hair extensions and she's like right here go right here and she pointed to a stylist behind her and then we got to talking and guess what she's doing my hair extensions so we're gonna go and get those done today it's probably gonna take a few hours i'm hoping they're really comfortable because i i've never liked uh the taping ones because you can't really flip your hair up so you can't like make your hair go up you can only really make your hair go down if you make it go up it's kind of tricky and kind of bumpy and it's just not that it's just not that cute i really like my hair color right now because i got it done recently so i'm hoping we can somewhat match to this but the extensions are quite blonde and that's because i was planning to add more blonde to my hair but I, i'm now that i got it done i'm like oh i kind of like it <laughs> she's like you like it how it is i was like yeah <laughs> she's like we can try to blend it to that I was like, okay perfect thank you i don't want i'm not looking for a lot of length i'm looking for uh more so volume just thickness because that's what i'm lacking in and i don't want a lot of length i don't like long hair because it's like such you know you gotta fuss with it you getting stuck like in your armpits and stuff like from behind i i don't need it <laughs> i don't need it i just need a little bit of thickness okay we're gonna go later on all of it here's the hair <sighs> i dig it i'm looking forward to it we'll see how this goes <laughs> It's nighttime and it's pouring, but I'm leaving the salon. Um, thankfully, I got to the car before the rain really started coming down. She did such a good job blending this hair in. T please, tell me what's mine and what's not mine, guys. Like, are you serious? She did such a good job. And it's like up here. I can show you more later, I guess. Like, up close. I mean, but honestly, it's hard to even see it. Like... There's, there's almost nothing to see, nothing to see here, but I got like 120 grams, so I'm excited. I didn't really get inches. I got like a couple, like two or three, but I got weight and I love it, love it, love it. It did take seven hours, but honestly, worth it, <laughs> worth it. Hey, little lady, what's up? Um, I just got a notification that, oh, I got the wrong shoes on. Got the Crocs. Crocs are an outdoor shoe. <laughs> I need to put my slippers back on. I got a notification saying that my water was delivered and I just looked outside because we get like a, we have like a pure life delivery. I don't like our fridge water. And I bought a water softener and I replaced the filters and yada yada, but now I could just be missing it y'all, but do you see it? Please be here, please be here. <gasps> oh. Okay, I left the garage open. The, the water, uh, I left the garage open because I had to pee really bad when I got back from dropping the kids off and I was gonna come out and get something to make them for dinner, which I don't need because I have HelloFresh, which is why I never came back out here. And he just, he, he took it upon himself to come in here and reef. <laughs> you go, Glenn, go, go. Okay, well that was lovely of him. I didn't expect that. I need to go close the garage door. But uh, what's up guys, it's been a minute. Um, I was just sitting down watching a video because I made myself breakfast, which is a new thing. I want to eat breakfast these days. I just wake up a little bit hungrier. I've heard that's a good thing to actually wake up and feel hunger. And it's not typical for me. So, I mean, it is lately, but it wasn't previously. And I was like, okay, cool. So, so I had a little toast for breakfast. This last week or so, I have been pretty, like, down. I guess yesterday especially I was just like I could tell I was off and then I was being not great as a human 
uh, just to just generally and then then I felt bad about that and then it was just a lot so this morning I really woke up like okay it's a new day and it all feels how does that song go it's a new day and it did how does that song go hey girl anybody else's comfort youtuber uh acre homestead it's a new day just me I know it's not just me it's me and million other people. It's a new day. Hello. How does that sound though? It's a new day, but it all feels old. But it all feels old. <laughs> it's a good life. That's what I'm told. Okay, so I'm trying to get back on my good life over here because it is a good life. No, I've just been feeling kind of down. I got sick last week and then I had been working out regularly. Who does that? Bunch of you probably, but not me. Uh, so not not lately at least. I used to work out all the time. I know. <laughs> Why are you so fat? <laughs> you mean, <laughs> I didn't say I stopped eating. <laughs> I said I used to work out. Yeah, I had been working out pretty regularly and I was really looking forward to it. And I was kind of getting into like a whole new routine and um, I loved it. But then I got sick last week and everybody has gotten sick multiple times in the house in the last two weeks. I mean two months and it's annoying you know what I mean it sucks I'm coming off of it now so come Monday I'll probably be back in the basement working out again because I was really I was enjoying it I think it was really helping my general mood because it's annoying that it's still getting cold like 30 degrees and it's spring I mean it's the, what are you even doing I just feel like we're so close to being out of the winter chill and then it just keeps dragging us back in plus i want to plant my plants so i'm really looking forward to that but those days that i was spending outside i was like working out getting up getting life together managing the house the kids the family, whatever and then getting outside and like messing around outside with this that and the other i was feeling real good and then it stopped and then i got sick and then i went froop, straight down so climbing our way back out now but i oh i got my hair done <clears throat> doesn't look great and Given that I'm an at-home girly most of the time, and I don't really do my hair, like do my hair, I tend to slick it back. Um, it's kind of a lot of fussing for, you know, what it is. The the color match that she did, Clarissa at Renew Salon and Spa, uh, I never, never in my life, never in my life have I had extensions look literally, I d pick it out, pick it out, you can't. Like she did such an incredible job. I'm blown away, but I got the hand tied extensions. Y'all want to get in there? <laughs> what, what was Lewis calling me? Lewis is like, oh, you got them tracks put in. I was like, yeah. And he, what did he say? He called me Count Dracula. <laughs> I was cracked up. They're hand tied, right? So they, there's two rows right here, one here, one here, and they go all the way around my head to the other side. And the other side, it's not as good because <laughs> there's like a little loopy. You see the little loopy? She's pretty new to it. So, um, you know, I think she did a really great job. And I'm sure if I go back and like keep getting them moved up, like it should take a few months before I have to go back, then I'm sure it'll be better and better each time. I've been updating you guys quite a bit on Instagram of books and stuff that I'm reading, but I am reading quite possibly the worst book I have read this year. And I feel like that's, is it saying a lot? No, because I feel like I've had a lot of good books this year. Jeez Louise, I hate this book. Sarah, why don't you just stop reading it? Well, I don't know because it's my book club book and if I'm gonna dislike a book and talk about it, I have to see it through, my boy. I have to get to the end because I do not like talking junk, which I'm doing right now. I don't like talking junk and feeling like I really know what I'm talking about without actually knowing what I'm talking about. So, I know what I'm talking about. This one, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Tell me that this cover does not look like this book is gonna be so good. It's gonna be about this haunted house. It's gonna be eerie, it's gonna be rah. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, I guess, for real, because the next words out of my mouth are, I guess, a spoiler because they're not in the synopsis, but they should have been in the synopsis because then I never would have bought this stupid book. I don't wanna ruin it for you if you're into it and that's okay if you are, it's just a horrible book, that's all. It's not a big deal. I like bad books too, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look look how many books Twilight's old, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> bad books are fine, they're fine. I liked reading Twilight, I thought it was a bad book, but I enjoyed it. You see what I'm saying here? You can enjoy bad books, but this book is so bad. <laughs> anyway, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, I'm about to spoil it. 
It's about a puppet, y'all. A puppet. A puppet. Listen, and puppets can be scary. Puppets can be scary. What it, one of the reviews was like, it's like Annabelle meets Child's Play. I'm like, yeah, except those were both significantly better than this. I don't even have any hopes that it's gonna get better. Like, the cover is so beautiful, I want to continue to look at it. But it's such a bad book, it makes me mad. They should have put puppets on the cover. I wouldn't have bought it if it, I might have, but I probably wouldn't have bought it if it was just mad puppets. This is making me think it's about a haunted house. It's not a haunted house. The house is not haunted. How to sell a haunted house? Uh, first, have a haunted house. You don't have a haunted house. You have a puppet. A puppet with stupid adults surrounding it. You know what I mean? You know when you watch those horror movies and you're like, why would you go, why would you lock yourself in the, you know, like that commercial where they go hide behind all the rusty chainsaws instead of just getting in the moving car? That's what this whole book feels like. What are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm so stressed out. Hey cutie pie, I've been having a really hard time focusing and getting my work done. It seems like I was just in there a second ago, right? Because that's what was happening on the camera. Oh, <laughs> my parents showed up. They, uh, Solomon mainly, I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm really involved. I'm just there for funsies, for support, for payment. No, uh, not to him, obviously, he doesn't make me pay him. Um, just for general good vibes. That's why I, I, I go outside. But he has built me a retaining wall which i have time let me show you real quick currently even with everything he's purchased um meaning to like dirt glue stones delivery i got a bunch of it delivered which was unnecessary in hindsight and we're not going to do that again but all of that together i think i still uh, we're under 500 so far and i'm going to go buy the bushes and little plants which i'll show you guys when i do that um and then rocks the rocks are going to be the most expensive thing i think but like all said and done i think we're looking at under a thousand dollars and i just think like relatively small cost relative to landscaping small cost um huge impact check this thing out i can't really show you guys from the front because then you're gonna see my house and my number and stuff but this is what it looks like on the side so one two three deep on this side with the topper on the front it's only two deep because um it's a lot higher on the front so too deep in a topper i think overall it's gonna look good it's pretty big quite large and then around here he created this like semicircle situation which i thought was really cool and curb appeal i drive up from this side it looks really nice guys it really like he did an amazing job i'm uh, forever blown away by solomon's ability and on the other side last year i paid i want to say seventeen thousand dollars for this okay and they quoted me $8,000 to finish the landscaping. And I said, no. <laughs> so Solomon just yanked out all the dead bushes that they had put in here. And we're going to sod. Well, he didn't yank them out. His, uh, his grandson said. But he was leveling it today. And then we're going to sod here, which sod is not that expensive really excited for the difference here originally i was going to do bushes yada yada but honestly it just feels like an unnecessary expense over here i'm thinking bush 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 a bunch of little plants around the tree part and then little plant little plant you know six in front of the four bushes what do you think and then we're gonna buy stuff clean this buy something for this planter and then We'll be done <laughs> and i'm excited about it i'm enjoying outdoor stuff i've realized that part of the reason that i've been feeling kind of down the last week i think is because i've been inside and it's cold outside and it sucks and i'm having a really hard time focusing and it's super weird because i don't normally get like this so it is what it is dealing with it but we gotta go get the kids so let's go sit in the car i'm gonna get a snack and then go sit in the car good morning cuties my camera battery is dead i just got ready currently <laughs> On camera, you really see how off-center it is. I have this off-center lamp. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, uh, look. It is attached to the outlet that's attached to the thing. Oh, no, I gotta sneeze. So, my cousin's gonna come over, and he's gonna install four recessed lights in here, which I'm very excited about. You see how I have that dice in there? That's not, like, part of the vibe, you know? You see how I have this outlet here? Okay. Follow me, y'all. Follow me. Stay here, Stan. All right, outlet. This wall behind it could have been a shower. Had I turned this into a bedroom, there would have been a door right here. But I didn't turn it into a bedroom. I turned it into just a regular bathroom, right? So if it hadn't been 
a regular bathroom, it would have, okay, who got the toilet paper looking crazy, y'all? Which one y'all left it like that? This would have been a shower, but it's not a shower because you don't need a shower where there's no bedroom. So what's in here? A closet. And I love it. And you know what's on the other side of that? That outlet I just showed you. And you know where I'd rather it be? In here with four different spots so that we could charge these stupid things and I could finally put the Dyson in here, which makes more sense. It, this has never been super organized, but I'm trying, y'all. Keep going. There's an outlet over here. You see it? Do you know what's behind this? A closet. Do you know what could really use an outlet? The closet. Because what else do we have? More vacuums. And a Coco. She likes to charge up sometimes. And finally, walking back towards the front of the house, what do we have but yet another room with no lights? Because if you had left us an open room instead of turning into the quote unquote library, that's what they called it, not me, and done that, they would have had four recess lights. But instead I turned it into the room, which of course costs extra if you know about you know building a house. Keeping it as a room, <laughs> Goes extra and they take away all the lights. Why? Why do they do that? I don't know. But he's gonna come up four lights in here because right now I'm using again the switch and this, which is horrible, doesn't work very well, and it makes it very uncomfortable to work at night or through honestly the majority of the winter because you need a light in here in the winter time. So that's what's going on today. You guys wanna see two new books up? Bix. <laughs> yeah, girl. Two new books I picked up. These are from Target. I picked them up the other day and I've been so excited to read both of them. I'm actually in the middle of a really good book right now though. Uh, it's called The Right Move. It's part two in whatever series. I'll put it on the screen. It's part two and I'm really so far liking it more than part one. Not that part one was bad um, but it follows a different couple and I can already tell who the third guy is going to be and I wonder if that's out yet or not. I don't know. Anyway, Happy Place by Emily Henry. I'm a huge Emily Henry fan. The banter in her books is always so funny. It makes it so enjoyable to read. And then Yours Truly is by Abby Jimenez, who wrote a recent five-star read for me, Part of Your World. It's down there, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, I really enjoyed it. This one doesn't like... I'm more excited about this one, but I've heard more good things about this one. So... We'll see. Um, I have gotten my TBR of 55 down to, I think, 24. I keep slowly adding, but for the most part, am I killing the game or am I killing the game? Because, oh, let's go. Let's go the influencer route. Just sunscreen to moisturize up so I'm a little shiny. But uh, that's great because I started with 55 physical books on my TBR earlier this year. And I'm down to the 20s, the low 20s. And I just finished the worst book I have read in a very long time. And I apologize if I accidentally convinced anyone to buy this hot pile of garbage. Weird angle. Um, it's the double chin angle or it's nothing. To be honest with you, I got that at any angle lately. Can you believe I'm trying a different coffee? Why? Because I keep not having a great iced coffee experience. And this, the nonsensical part of me is blaming my stoke. When in reality, I should be blaming the fact that I keep trying different creamers. Here's Old Faithful. Here's the oat version of Old Faithful. Not, not as good, you know? I'm trying, I do a lot of nut pods, I do a lot of different stuff, but ultimately, if I just need that comfort coffee, it's her. It's her every day. She's the best, and I love her. So we're gonna try to jazz this up, and we're gonna use this coffee, which is the Busy cold brew they have a few different kinds it's right next to the stoke i got mine at target and um i like it i don't like it as much as i like stoke nothing to this day has ever topped that for me i'm gonna go ahead and make this into a cold foam though and see if that might entice me a little bit this tiny cup at target one day if i do mostly this one and like a tablespoon of this one just to hit it with a little something I used to always froth like this with it down here and then one of you guys was like no you got to tilt it and let the air get into it and you were right. That is how you do it. All right. And there we go. Melano sola me gusta pa mi. Bella. Ella sabe que está buena. Okay. That's enough. Oh, yeah. Poor it ain't, girl. So fun. So this is technically cold foam now, right? So you got to hit it the perfect spot. The cold foam. Smash. Oh, the coffee, though. Show you guys these when I built them. Now I don't remember, but I built them the other day. They're from Ikea. 
I think I was vlogging when me and my mom went to go look for them. And they're from Ikea. I'll link them. I forgot what they're called. Um, I think they're like a hundred and something each, right? So I looked a lot before I stopped on these. And um, I wasn't 100% that this was really where I was going to put them. But I think I am, honestly, because we're, you know, gaining traction here. The, the other option was right there against this wall. Um, and to be honest with you, I still, I don't hate that idea. Like, I, I really, oh, dang it, am I going to move them? Anyway, we're filling them now. So Nala has a bunch of Harry Potter, Harry Potter Lego sets. And they're taking up a lot of space. This is not all of them, obviously. She's still bringing them down. They're taking up a lot of space on her bookshelf. And then I have my Harry Potter books right here. So these are like the ones I actually read as a child you know with the exception of <laughs> the cursed child but these oh and maybe one or two of the beginning ones but anyway we're gonna make these into like harry potter shelves because we have enough like memorabilia and stuff like that that we've just collected over the years and it was just a series i grew up on and nala also loved I'm trying to make things a little bit more homey and oh my gosh i'm so like pink today dude it took me an hour to blow dry my hair normally with my regular normal god-given hair 10 minutes <laughs> but to blow dry with all the extensions nearly an hour so thank god i don't wash my hair every single day because i couldn't do it my cousin just left he put in a bunch of lights and stuff but uh the ceilings are drying because he had to like mud the areas that were you know he like had to bust through or whatever uh because it was very tricky <laughs> the way apparently like all the joists and everything are set up um but anyway He's coming back soon, tomorrow, the next day maybe. But we measured out this little corner over here where I told you guys I wanted to put like a little baby kitchen kind of just for like when we're entertaining down here just to have that space. Um, and he just measured it out and we looked through and he was looking at all the stuff and I won't pretend to know exactly how everything works, but he explains it beautifully. I just don't know. So that's on the agenda. We're going to be doing that very soon. He's going to send me the, or he took the measurements and stuff. He's going to draw the stuff out. But um, yeah, yeah. These are gonna look so cute, but I shouldn't put them here, right? This is what the room looks like. This is, you know, I'm in the love stack right now. So this is what it would look like. I just think like the hallway to the game room. And I do kind of think that they would look really good right there. And then we could put some stuff above them. Like, but they would look good here too. And they'd be less in the way, I feel like, like less people less you know chance that kids would go hit it but you can't see it as well i feel like over here you could see it better but only when you're walking down versus over here honestly if you're sitting anywhere over here you're gonna have a great look at it you know what i mean and then i could put something on the wall i don't know it's gonna be a hassle to change it once all the legos are in there but i will move it to the other wall there's really nowhere else that it would make sense i feel like maybe in the game room but i don't trust little little people like little children to not fuss and touch and bump and all of that and you know these lego sets took the kids or nala hours upon hours upon hours and then we moved and she rebuilt a whole bunch of them so i want to honor that and not purposely put it in an area where they're gonna get messed up i got sunburned the other day i was outside for like 10 minutes without freaking sunscreen got caught slipping we're gonna go home and work out and i'm so mad because my stupid watch in charge last night so it's about to die that's so pluma lady hey voy a conquistar a tu familia en una días vas a ser mía if you don't think that i've been walking around just straight just corridos just every day for like a week you don't know what's happening here <laughs> you know what i started doing my brain like what i started thinking in my brain because i'm not someone who likes working out and i've been doing it um last week i, I took last week off because i got sick and i was like uh i hate to work out and feel like garbage um afterwards like i could barely do it like i'm dying you know what i'm saying if i'm sick i just take the time off whatever and that way i don't have to go through those feelings but i started having this thought because of some stuff that happened and i was like i should just be grateful that today in this very moment as life stands i'm capable of doing these things i'm capable of doing like the exercises <gasps> they don't have a stop you stupid these two cars almost crashed into each other because somebody ran the freaking stop sign even if i'm maybe slow or maybe it's you know it's challenging whatever i should just be grateful that i can do it 
and I should exercise that literally the ability to do these things physically because I saw some folks that I know and they're much older and not you know what they're like not they are older but they're not like that much older they're like 25 years older okay 20 something 23 22 years old and they cannot they can't hardly walk uh, can't hardly walk and I'm like I don't want that so if you just continue to use your body every day like I'm not striving to be like you know um, to lose a ton of weight or be super skinny whatever you know happens from my lifestyle choices choices happens you know what I mean like I do try to make pretty good choices generally speaking I'm gonna, I'm gonna just use my body while I can because you just never know when you won't be able to anymore and once I like kind of adopted that mentality I started looking forward don't get me wrong I still hate exercising but I started looking forward to completing it for you know in the morning or then going outside and picking up heavy bags and throwing them around and sweating in the yard and you know what I mean like I don't know it just kind of helped it kind of helped to have that mentality of like do it while you can because you don't know when you won't be able to whether it be just from you know age and life kind of taking its toll or it's an accident or you know you just never know you don't know you don't know what's in the cards for you and so I just kind of yeah it's been helping I just wrote up my to-do list for the week and it includes Jason's house um it includes not that much stuff honestly this week is Lewis's birthday so I'm gonna order him a cake today I got him some stuff for his birthday I have a tendency to get get him things just whenever like if you know he runs out of something or if he mentioned something or whatever I'll just get it and the only downside of that is then when I accumulate these things that like oh I will just get this for you most of the time I just give it to him right when I get it but when he has like a birthday or there's Christmas coming up I'll I'll hoard them and then I'll give them to him like as a gift they're not that special because I give them to him whenever you know what I mean I got him a Tom Ford cologne which you guys know if you know Tom Ford colognes are not cheap they are not cheap he's got nerve not Lewis Tom Ford <laughs> he's got nerve charging 400 some dollars for for, to smell like a piece of wood sir i will buy you a two by four get to rubbing what is happening here but i just bought him some clones so far that's it and we're gonna go out to dinner on friday like you know i could get him like like what is the male equivalent of flowers you know what i'm saying i don't know let's go inside and get this workout done though I'll just give you a little preview of the light right this is the one i used to have and i used to put these other ones and i know this was the biggest pain in the butt for him because of the way that the joists are running which actually i think it's the other way um, but there's a pipe, <laughs> there's like drainage going right through there. So for him to connect them all, I know it was a pain. Um, but this is what I had and I'm drinking an energy drink, which I think are really bad for you. And Ashley gets on me every time I do it. So this is what I used to have. Ta-da! It's okay. Oh, wow. I'm getting pot belly right now, but it's just the way my clothes are sitting. <laughs> Look at the difference. I don't know if you can really tell a big difference, but I can tell a huge one and I'm so excited about it because I think I might be able to finally move this over here and this over here and this upstairs to Nala's room. And I'm very, very excited about it. So like I mentioned, that outlet right there, he went ahead and gave me one right there. Four outlets so I can plug in all of these stupid things right there and he flipped and flopped and blah out look who can put her dyson in here now it's me because he added an outlet in there and then the last one was over here which i feel like i showed you guys already but i don't remember again this one has the outside switch what a freaking it just makes such a this is literally how i would normally sit in here you see this amount of light and you think this is not bad because it looks okay in camera Trust me, it is it is bad. This is insane. And I was able to reorganize my shelves. They're not perfect. But who is? Jesus. <laughs> oh, since I'm down here, I might as well show you what we have going on here so far. I really like it. Oh, dang, I forgot to add those lights. Um, it's coming together. That top one obviously needs work. Those are just bits and bobs right now. And then she's going to put um, the great hall down here or the mess, whatever it's called, the great hall, I think. And then um, we're going to put the illustrated version of the books in here as well. We have five of them. 
and she's keeping the paperbacks and some of the dolls and stuff upstairs with her and i just ordered the coolest little wand holders they're kneeling like chess pieces um and i love that she set up the chess scene <laughs> like so it's an actual scene as opposed to everything just being set to go but it's like kneeling chess guys and they're like holding you know they're like holding the wand so so cool it's on amazon for like 20 bucks the ones i bought were from etsy more than 20 bucks i'm trying to be a little more like frugal freddy these days and really consider how and where i'm spending my money and why i'm doing it so purchasing <laughs> the rower and the stationary bike that i got they're coming this week can't wait to show you it was definitely like i was a lot of back and forth mentally um not on the bike so much the bike wasn't cr crazy expensive but the rower was but look she set up like a little scene she should turn around this way so we can see Oh my gosh, he's smiling. Why is he smiling? <laughs> anyway, she's got a lot of round heads. She could switch that out. Okay, back on the good camera. I was just working, but Solomon gave me a jangle and said he needed a ride somewhere, so we're gonna go pick him up real quick and just take a forced break. It is so cold today, you guys. I don't know what the temperature is, but it says it's 45, but it's it's got to be... I mean, it's a freezing 45. Like, it's so wet and just cold and windy. Um, why are my wipers on? I think we're going to go grab a warm coffee, and then I'll come back. This will probably take, like, an hour total. I don't know what time it is, but I really need to check my mail. I, like, never check my mail because it's a cluster box, and I hate going to the freaking mailbox because of that. I hate that word, to be honest with you. I know my property taxes just came in, and even though the house doesn't have a payment tax man always looking leave us alone we don't want to pay taxes leave us alone no <laughs> get him on my lot okay that's all we want to do just dropped Solomon off it was at the dealer um that's where i was taking him and right there is a small cakes cupcakery and i'm gonna get lewis a birthday cake from there i was just gonna give him a call to do it but i think i'm just gonna pop oh, my shoes are stupid that's okay i was just gonna I'm gonna pop in and I wonder if they have coffee because the one in Naperville um, is like half almost like cafe ish kind of thing and they used to have coffee there I'm not gonna lie I have warmed up a bit while I've been sitting in the car so I wouldn't be opposed to a nice coffee now I was very much chilled earlier but you know what as soon as I walk outside it's gonna be cold again so we're gonna order a cake perhaps uh oh car accident and perhaps get a cupcake to share with the kids tonight I never go to the cupcake place so <laughs> excited i don't think i've been there since Lucy's birthday last year which i flew home from arizona on his birthday last year after the surgery so it has been over a year so far so good that wasn't an accident it looked like an accident because the guy how he was stopped this is just a two-way two-lane road where people tend to go a little fast 60s that man just got out of his car and started chasing geese and then he went around to the other side of the median and started chasing them again and he's parked, door wide open, it's raining, chasing geese. I, I'm i going to assume he's doing this for a humanitarian type of reason. Those geese probably should not be there, you know what I mean, for their safety. But where, the, where are they going to go, brother? You're on a bridge. Where are they going to go? The cupcakery. Um, well, the woman in there was absolutely lovely. Just lovely. If you've never been to a small cakes before, you should see if there's one near you. They're so cute. They're usually into, I mean, it's a it's a franchise, but they're like, you know, individually owned. Um, and they're so nice here. But um, the downside, <laughs> okay, the upside, I ended up getting two cupcakes. I got the hot fudge sundae one because it just looks incredible. But I know Nala would never eat it ever in a million years. So I also got uh, just a classic like wedding. <gasps> Chingo. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. But I still had to hope that it wasn't. Boom. Look at them. So I got the classic like almond wedding flavor. It's so delicious. So anyway, me and the kids will have those later. But yeah, they're not taking cup they're not taking cake orders because they're full. So I was like, well, there's another small cakes, right? And then she said, um, she said that's area 51. And I said, I don't know what that means, you know? And she's like, it's just different owners and stuff. And I was like, oh, okay beans so um i don't know what to do now because small cakes is where we get our cakes so do i just give another local bakery a shot do i chat in the um 
neighborhood group. Maybe I'll just drop a little question in the neighborhood group. People love giving their suggestions. The only issue is that, you know, we all have such a difference of opinion when it comes to cakes. Um, and when I'm looking for a cute cake, I get a cute cake. A picture can tell me if it's a cute cake. Picture cannot tell me if it's a delicious cake. Oh, that reminds me. I know exactly who to ask. Let me put this bad boy in park. Ashley. Dude, I need to get a birthday cake for Lewis and small cakes is all booked. Where should I go? <laughs> Sent it. Ashley knows everything. Um, there's a place right here called the Sensory Dispensary. That sounds so fun. Ivy Hall, the Sensory Dispensary. Oh, it's a dispensary! I'm over here like thinking this is like a center for like people with sensory issues. Damn, it's packed. Okay, Sensory Dispensary. It's just a dispensary, right? Like, I don't really know much about, I've never been in one. I've been to them multiple times, but I've never, never been inside. Um, I do not partake. I do not frown upon folks that do. However, I have never partook in. I always think it's funny when I'm doing something and someone, um, like I've done lives and people always think I'm high and I'm like, I don't know what I would be like high cause I've never been high, but um, I don't know what it is about me on lives that uh, seems to bring bring the certain trait out in me. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just that my eyes hurt. I don't blink enough. I don't know. But, all right, the sensory dispensary. That sounds fun. almost wish I did partake. Maybe I'll go in there and get someone else a gift. No, actually, I, I'm pretty sure you need a card, right? Like a medical card thing. Is it just legal everywhere now? I know it's been legal in Illinois for a while, but is it legal in all of the... States, dang, there's nobody at this Starbucks. It's because it sucks. <laughs> this is my least favorite Starbucks. Okay, I just got home and I totally forgot that yesterday I started making um, this, which is, it's out of this book that I think I showed you guys. I bought it at Costco like a couple of months ago and it's the baking school book. So it teaches you like there's a ton of lessons and stuff in here. I love to learn stuff. So I've really been enjoying this book, kind of how it breaks everything down and there's notes and da 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 and whatever. I really like it. I've only made one recipe thus far. It was good, it was a good recipe, but I wanna continue to try different stuff. So uh, this, I've literally never even heard this word in my entire life. So we're gonna be making French bread. So just a nice crusty French bread. And you start the night before by combining flour, water, and a little tiny pinch of yeast. So like, it's like two cups of flour, a cup of water, a tiny pinch of yeast. And that's called the Poolish, P-O-O-L-I-S-H. I've never heard that word before. And you let it, like you cover it like this, and then you let it rise, for, or you let it do its thing. It's not rising, um, but you leave it at room temperature for 15 hours, and then it's supposed to be ripe and ready to use. It'll be bubbly and fragrant. It is definitely bubbly. It's a tip, look for bubbling, slightly doming? Liquid separation, crevices on the top. These are all signs that your poolish is ready. Separation, definitely bubbly. But now I'm gonna do part two, which I think is just adding flour, water, and yeast, and salt into this, which is already bubbly and like combining and kind of doing its own funky thing in there. One thing about this book, it's heavy on the weight and not so heavy on the just scoop it and see, you know, oh, it's one, it's two. They are very much like you should weigh your ingredients because it's always gonna be different and sometimes it can really make a difference. So I have my bowl sitting on a little scale right now. These scales are like $10 or $15 or something. I would use them all the time um, when I was like hardcore tracking everything I would eat. So it's like, you know, it's good to have a scale in the kitchen though. Okay, I can't film like making the bread and like trying to eat stuff because I know I'm doing it wrong. Or I should say, I know that I'm learning and trying to follow like just written directions without a person or um, there's some visuals but not a ton. It's, it's a challenge and I don't, I, don't, I don't need that recorded. But I <laughs> popped on the thing to say, um, I love this little mat because normally I just do stuff on my, let me point you at the mat. Normally I just do stuff on the actual countertop. You know, I just clean it and then I lay out whatever, the flour, this, that, whatever it is. And then I just, you know, roll stuff out, yada, yada. But this is so much 
better. I haven't figured out the best way to clean it yet. Like that's why it's laying here as I go over it with a sponge. I just did the soap and stuff first. And then I'm just gonna clean it off and then I'll wipe it with the towel. I got this at Ikea and it's just one of those little mats. I'm sure they have them all over. I'm sure they're on Amazon and whatever. But like it's been perfect for when I'm making stuff with dough or whatever. It's just so much, I don't know. It's just, it feels more sanitary. And cleanup is a breeze. I This was my first time kind of having a little issue when I was trying to knead the dough because I was picking it up and slapping it back down and then pulling it and doing it and picking it and slap. So just imagine I was doing that with dough. Eventually it caught it and it yanked it up and that was a little troublesome. But anyway, it just folds. The other side I think has like shapes on it, whatever. Um, but I, I love this thing. Like I said, I bought it at Ikea. I think it's like 10 bucks or something. It has been a little game changer. Anyway, that's gonna rise for a while. So we can work for about 20 minutes and then we gotta go get in the car. And then I'm gonna work from the car today. So um, I did leave my computer charging purely for that purpose. Best part of the hot coffee is the fact that I actually finished them. Does this cup, does it look depressed to you? Because if I had to describe it, I would describe it as depressing. This cup looks sad. It needs something.